Welcome back everybody. Today we are at Universal. <laughs> right on, yeah. This is going to be exciting. We're going to start our day at Islands of Adventure. And first thing that we're going to do is go check out Hagrid's motorbike ride because... It's brand new since the last time we were here. Exactly. It's we've got the longest wait. So. Yeah, we've never been on that, so we're really excited. Do you hear the Jurassic Park music? I don't hear it anymore. It went away. It went away. It's there somewhere. Either way, let's head into Universal Studios. That's where we're heading. through Seuss Landing. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So we're starting a little different. We're going through Seuss Landing, which will lead us to sort of like where you line up for rope drop to go to the Harry Potter area, which is Hogsmeade. And of course, that's where we can go on the new Hagrid ride. So that was a funny experience. We all rushed to the Hagrid ride and it's experiencing technical delays. So now we're on our way to the Jurassic World area because there's the new Velocicoaster. But look at Hogwarts Castle. Isn't that cool? And that's right outside of Hogsmeade here. We'll have a more detailed look at that in one moment, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's go hit up a coaster. Here we go, Jurassic Park. Oh, there's the Jeep and the Velocicoaster sign. Woo oh yeah, beauty. So another YouTuber we watched, the Tim Tracker, says that this is one of the best roller coasters he's ever been on. And he's been on a lot of roller coasters, so this is gonna be pretty awesome. Don't forget to empty your pockets. You will be going through metal detection. Pretty cool little gift shop there with some dinosaurs. I think it's so cool that you walk through this little pathway right here, which connects the Velocicoaster with Hogsmeade, and the roller coaster is like right over your head. I think that's so cool. So, we're doing this park in a really weird order today because normally we go the other way, which you start with like the Hulk coaster. And then you do Spider-Man, and then eventually you make your way to Harry Potter. But now we're doubling back, and we're actually going to uh, the King Kong ride, and also the Jurassic Park water ride. I also really like how they uh, enclose the ride with these Jurassic World style gates or enclosures or walls. It looks really neat. I just think that's a pretty cool vibe, you know, you're just walking down the path. Then there's just this like velociraptor gate here. It's pretty cool. So I guess we've decided that we're gonna get what now? Yeah, it's only five minute wait. Yeah, it's only five minute wait. Be sure to keep an eye out so for the tiny Universal has these crazy house. rides that you get like really wet on. This one's not the one that you get like extremely like soaking wet, but like I don't know if we're gonna be doing those because like <laughs> I don't know if I wanna get soaked. Usually you would, but usually we're here during the hotter months. Right now it's December, right? But this ride's pretty fun. We're at the back of the boat. All right, we got a little bit wet. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go on Kong Skull Island, which has the spookiest lineup queue of all rides. You go through like these dark corridors, and sometimes there's like people hiding in the wall, in the walls, and they're dressed up like 
ancient people that you would find in King Kong. It's super spooky. <laughs> but the ride is, uh, is pretty neat and we're pretty excited to go on it today. In we go. Uh oh. <laughs> As you can see, there is like minimal lineup compared to what they're used to, so that's good. But yeah, it's like super spooky. There's like skulls on the walls and stuff like that. But this ride is really cool. It is truly one of the most immersive 3D experiences ever. See what I mean? Sometimes there's people in like here and stuff. It's super spooky. Probably not right now because it's not very busy. But yeah, <laughs> it's a scary little line, that's for sure. I don't know if we're looking to get Ripsaw Falls wet though. <laughs> you get soaked. It is feeling pretty warm out though, Jose. Yeah, but like soaking wet, I don't know. What's the other water ride called again? Uh, something barge or something, I don't yeah. know. Like it's, you get like absolutely... Like there's not one single inch of dryness no, on it, your entire body. You essentially may as well have taken a shower because they I dump water on I think in December, you. like, yes, yeah, it's hot, but it'll take all day to dry off and I don't know if I feel like yeah. doing that. So if you are to do it, now would be the time because it's about to, like, it's like, what, 10 o'clock or something, so... I don't know. No? I don't know. I think that like Jurassic Park is the perfect level yeah, of Yeah, like, me too. Just to like cool down and I didn't wear my proper footwear because your, your shoes get soaked yeah. too so I didn't wear the proper footwear but uh, we're gonna go to spider-man now I think but yeah sometimes like you gotta wear like these I wear like these sandals that like can get wet they're called Keens but I didn't wear them today I'm wearing my Nike sneakers and your feet and your socks will just be drenched all day yeah we're in like Popeye area right now it's a pretty cool area there's Betty Boop. Oh yeah, there's Modoc. And look, Captain America's throwing a shield at him. I dig this area, it's like very comic book style. See, there's the Daily Bugle, that's where we're heading now. There's like no wait times anywhere. Look, it's Cat in the Hat and the Lorax. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're heading back to the Hagrid ride because it's reopened. <laughs> okay, so we just finished riding Hagrid's magical creature motorbike adventure. And let me tell you, it was really cool. Lots of fast acceleration moving backwards, yeah. some cool animated characters, and also a drop. So yeah, it's really neat and a pretty cool queue as well. Pretty magical. Something we've always wanted to do is buy wands, but we've just never done it. I think there's Ollivanders here, right? No, Ollivanders is uh, Diagon Alley, I'm wrong. Because remember, this is uh, only Hogsmeade, so we can take the Hogwarts Express to Universal and check out Diagon Alley uh, over there, which is pretty cool. And that's where the Gringotts Bank is, the Gringotts ride. We got Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. I think we're gonna go on the Hogwarts ride next. Okay, so this is the crew neck that I've always wanted to get, but actually BrickPix sent us a Gryffindor patch like this one here, and I actually made one using a Walmart sweater. I like that hat with the uh, Deathly Hallows. I think that's pretty cool. See, here's the sweater that we made. Gryffindor George. Hey, not bad. It's the right color. I just drank an entire cherry Coke. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle the Hogwarts Castle ride right now. But it's a short lineup, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey look, it's Hermione's dress from the Yule Ball. So I guess we wimped out on the ride and we're gonna get something to eat at the Three Broomsticks. 
They got that chicken and ribs combo. Comes with the corn on the cob. Pretty cool place. And here we have Honey Dukes. Ooh, let's see what's inside. Well, what do you know, there's candy and look, the every flavor beans. Huh, your wax. Pretty cool store though, lots to choose from. Jose's looking at something, what do you got there? Just some very overpriced Smarties, really. Overpriced Smarties? You know poo? <laughs> Everything you can imagine. Hey look, there's uh, peppermint toads. Fudge flies. And of course, chocolate frogs. That's pretty cool, look at these like lenticular chocolate frog cards. The wizards are always looking at you. Whoa, there's the Hogwarts Express. Resting Grinch face. <laughs> we got some classic Dr. Seuss books here in this really neat store. Because we're back in Seuss land. This place is just decked out. It's pretty awesome. You just gotta get in touch with your inner Grinch. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. Everybody, we have an urgent news announcement. We've decided that we will be taking the plunge and going on the log ride. <laughs> uh, this ride seems overly popular right now. I'm not sure if we're able to wait. Uh, you know, I might have to back out. It's a little bit much here. Woo! How you doing? <laughs> well, there we go. A little bit of fun. This is like half as wet as the other one gets you. The other one is 100%. This one's about 80%. <laughs> Woohoo! So we just went on the Jurassic Park River Adventure and I'm really wet. Now we're going to go on the Velocicoaster Round 2. Okay, before we take the Hogwarts Express to Diagon Alley, we've got to do the ride inside the Hogwarts Castle, which I believe is the Forbidden Journey? Well, we ended up manually park hopping because Hogwarts Express lineup was too long. Jose, did we get a midday donut? Voodoo donuts. We'll have to do that later. Actually, you know what? We're doing it right now. Check out the carousel of donuts. Oh my gosh, look at the Texas. And the Memphis Mafia coming up here. Holy cow. That one looks good. Dirt. Or ODB. Chuckles. <laughs> what do we get? We gotta get two, I think. I think I'm gonna try the OBD. Or ODB. There we go. Here's the donut chair. And then the couple donuts that we got. I guess all good things come in pink boxes. We got the Voodoo, which I'm pretty sure is like full of some sort of red jelly, whether it be strawberry or raspberry. And then ODB, which is like peanut butter and Oreo. Oh my gosh. Universal! Famous, I would say. That's the biggest reef I've ever seen. All right, so we're in Universal now. They've got a massive Christmas tree. And the first thing that we're gonna do is hit up the mummy. So it turns out that Universal is actually closing in about an hour and a half. They're closing at six, whereas Islands of Adventure closes at seven. 
There's Simpsons Land over there, which is really cool. You got Krusty Land, Quickie Mart, uh, also Moe's, stuff like that. But we're actually going to go check out uh, Diagon Alley, and then we're going to take the Hogwarts Express back to Adventureland after checking out Diagon Alley. We have another park day here, so we figure we're going to start in Universal Studios during our next day. But it's always nice looking across the water at Simpsons Land. So of course, one meet apart, we're gonna catch the Hogwarts Express at platform nine and three quarters in King's Cross Station. There's the night bus, and here's 12 Grinwald Place right here. I think Shazay did a pretty good job of making our facades. Right there, you'll see Creature once in a while. He'll actually open up that blind. Uh, where is he? He's gonna do it soon, I think. Maybe not? I don't know, he must be shy. Definitely a nice added touch, and there he is. There's Creature. <laughs> That's so cool. Look what we're missing out on right now. Look at that parade floor. Oh my gosh. So this right here is the entrance to Diagon Alley. It looks like a solid wall. And then as you come around the corner here, there's Diagon Alley. We got the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Of course, a whole bunch of shops, including Ollivander's, and of course, Gringotts at the end of the street with the fire-breathing dragon. Just the way everything is done is simply incredible. It almost looks fake. Like, it's just done to perfection. Alright, we're in Gringotts. Check out the goblins. So realistic, it's crazy. To have your Gringotts identification photo taken. Then, proceed to the large office at the end of the corridor, where an assistant will prepare you for your first visit to the vaults. Hey, look, it's my shirt. Oh my gosh, what a sweet shirt. Cool area. Make a little magic. Oh, cool. Woo -woo. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, Hogsmeade looks pretty magical at night, doesn't it? Look at that, they've put some snow on the castle and there's gonna be a holiday show as well. Final ride of the evening, Hulk Coaster! So we finished up at Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios, and now we're on City Walk here looking for a place to eat. Oh man, we just tried Margaritaville, but the lineup or the wait was an hour and 20 minutes. Can you believe it? Let's check out this store. Shazay, you want to get this Jaws blanket? <laughs> no. So we're just sitting on the water here enjoying our Coke Freestyle mug. Very good. Hey, there's Santa. And we're just waiting for our reservations at Bubblegum Shrimp. And uh, check it out, I finally changed into my long sleeve sweater. Gryffindor red with the Gryffindor patch. A little Walmart pickup and also a fan sent us the patches. Look at Jose, she's got hers too. Ooh, Ravenclaw, Mine's it better. sort of sucks. No way, no way, not at all. <laughs> I can't wait to get her dinner, it's gonna be good. Hey Jose, according to the waitress we just ordered an ambitious amount of food. <laughs> We're sitting right next to Jenny's dress. Well, the fried chicken looks delicious and the pasta looks great. Don't worry, we had a seafood appetizer <laughs> with shrimp. Oh, but here we are back at the hotel room. What a great dinner that was.
Fantastic. Too much food. We have leftovers for tomorrow. Perfect. Also, uh, what a great day at uh, Universal. I can't wait to go back there because I feel like we didn't do three quarters. Not three quarters. 50% of the park, we barely explored Universal. As you saw, most of our day was spent at the Islands of Adventure. So yeah, I mean, it was great though. There's lots to do there. Lots of new stuff compared to Universal. There's the Velocicoaster. There's the Hagrid Rut. There's, you know, just all the different cool rides, like Ripsaw uh, Falls. That was uh, a lot of fun. Had a great time. Wow, I can't wait to go back. Check out Simpsons Land. Check out the E.T. ride. Transformers. Ride the Mummy again. I think next time we go there, we're going to start at Universal. Actually, we might start at Islands of Adventure. Do Hagrid's ride. Hopefully, the ride is actually functioning when we get there for Rope Drop. That would be ideal. And then... Uh, immediately take Hogwarts to Universal, experience Universal, and then go to Islands Adventure. Might be cool. Take the train both ways. Might be pretty neat. There you go. There's our vlog of the day. Everybody, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for popping on by, and have yourselves a great one. Farewell. Please have clean camera lenses. Please have clean camera.